Exploring Dollars, Lesson 4.8. A dollar is worth 100 cents. It's one dollar equals 100 cents. We write one dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R. This is what the front of a dollar looks like. This is play money. It's not a real dollar bill. That's the front. This is the back. You can see it's pretend play money. But that's what the back looks like. You can see the big words one in the middle here. The United States one dollar bill, that's what we call it, a bill, has the first president, George Washington, on the front. We can total coins that will be equal to one dollar. This is the dollar sign. We make an S. We draw a line through it. See? Sometimes you'll see two lines through it. That's okay. It doesn't matter which way you do it. You can do it with one line, which I think is easier. You can do it with two lines. That's all right, too. Here we have a half dollar, that's 50 cents, and another half dollar, that's 50 cents, and two of them together equals a one dollar bill. It equals a hundred cents. Here we've got four quarters, one, two, three, four. We count by 25s. Remember 25, 50, 75? Now we can say a hundred. And 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. Four quarters equals one dollar. Here we have 10 dimes. We can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 cents. That's equal to a dollar. So if you have 10 dimes, you'll have the same amount as a dollar. We could also do 100 pennies. That would be equal to a dollar. That would be 100 cents, wouldn't it? Let's do some problem solving. Tala has two quarters, four dimes, and ten pennies. Emma has three quarters, one dime, and five pennies. So who has a dollar? All right, well, think. We need to total Tala's coins. Then we need to total Emma's coins. And then we can see who has the most, right, when we have the totals? So here's Tala's. She has two quarters, four dimes, and ten pennies. So we can count on. We count the quarters, 25, 50. And now we can count the tens by skip counting tens. We're at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And now we count the pennies as the ones, right? 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 cents. And 100 cents is a dollar, isn't it? Let's see how much Emma's got. Emma's got three quarters, one dime, and five pennies. We can count by 25s, 25, 50, 75, and 10 more would be 85. If she's got 75 and we add one more 10, we're adding one more to this place. So we have eight and a five in the ones place. We have 85. Adding the pennies, we have 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Emma has 90 cents. So how much does Emma need if she needs a dollar? How much more? How many more coins? Well, Emma needs 10 cents more to have a dollar. If she's at 90 and we give her a dime or two nickels or 10 pennies, then she'll have a dollar too, won't she? All right. In the last chapter, that was video 3.13,
Remember we talked about less than, greater than, and equal to? And how the big mouth eats the big number? So which one is greater? This one or this one? When we look at the tens place, this has nine tens, this has eight tens. So we know the 98 cents is bigger. How about this one? 100 cents or a dollar? Is it less than, greater than, or equal to? Well, 100 cents is a dollar, isn't it? We can see the 100, zero, can't we? So this is equal. So don't forget about your less than, greater than, or equal to. I know that was last chapter, but you need to remember that, okay? Remember that the big mouth eats the big number. We're going to keep talking about money. I'm going to go back to Joanne's store and my pretend store, and I'm going to try buying things again in the next video. All right? I hope you'll be there. Bye.